question is, do I have a God complex? Dr. Kessler says yes. Which makes me wonder if this lawyer has any idea as to the kind of grades one has to receive in college to be accepted at a top medical school. If you have the vaguest clue as to how talented someone has to be to lead a surgical team. I have an MD from Harvard. I am board certified in cardiothoracic medicine and trauma surgery. I have been awarded citations from seven different medical boards in New England, and I am never, ever sick at sea. So I ask you, when someone goes into that chapel and they fall on their knees and they pray to God that their wife doesn't miscarry, or that their daughter doesn't bleed to death, or that their mother doesn't suffer acute neural trauma from post-operative shock, who do you think they're praying to? Now, you go ahead and read your Bible, Dennis, and you go to your church, and with any luck, you might win the annual raffle, but if you're looking for God, he was in operating room number two on November 17th, and he doesn't like to be second-guessed. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something. I am God. And this sideshow is over. Manipulative bastard! Is this all part of your plan? It's all just a game to you, isn't it? Hey? Well, I know punishment, and he did not deserve that. He followed your stupid rules, and it still wasn't good enough. So, what does it take to please you? Break your rules and you fall, follow them, and you still lose! Doesn't matter whether you're a sinner. Doesn't matter whether you're a saint. Nobody can win, so what's the point? What's the bloody point? You dare assault me! You, who have done far worse than I. I stood for my fellow angels, for reason and justice. And then he made you in his image. You, the flawed creation, and I was to bow down to you! And it's said that night that Jesus turned to his disciples and said, One of you shall betray me. And Peter said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus said, No, it is not you, Peter. And Simon said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to Simon and said, No, it is not you, Simon. And Judas said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to him and went, Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> Thus you see two traditions beginning, Jewish sarcasm and Gentile humor, together, born <laughs> at that main moment. And the next day the miracle occurred, crucifixion, resurrection, and he rose again from the dead. And if he sees his shadow, another 2,000 years of guilt. Yes. <laughs> and here is for me the one big question. How do you get crucifixion, resurrection, and then chocolate bunnies, colored eggs? <laughs> How do you do that one? Even kids are going, rabbits don't lay eggs, what is this? And you don't want a kid biting the head off a chocolate Jesus, that's not good. <laughs> ah, you don't want a little cream-filled cross going, no, you don't want that. <laughs> and you don't want to be putting raspberry jam in the grass going, we're looking for Jesus, kids. A lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here with that damn dog. <laughs> so all I can say is, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. This isn't you, Chloe. Ben, 
the knee, brother. To the death, right? My time here on Earth, I've learned everyone deserves a second chance. Even me. Even you, Michael. Lucifer, how? I don't know. So what now, huh? What do you want from me? Yeah, I could do it. You both know you wouldn't stop me. So answer me, please. Tell me what you're doing. Look at the logic. You create man. Man suffers enormous amounts of pain. Man dies. <laughs> Maybe you should have had just a few more brainstorming sessions prior to creation. You rested on the seventh day. Maybe you should have spent that day on compassion. Alive. It's not about humans. It's about God. Well, you know about that, you monkey. I don't have to, Gabriel. I know you. I know what it's like to be ignored, pushed aside. I know your anger, Gabriel. I know what it's like to lose your faith in the word. I know. Because you hate him. You hate him just a little bit. Because you're jealous. That's what this war is about. Jealousy. Jealousy that he can love something more than you. Something with a soul. Well, if you wanted to prove your side was right, Gabriel, so badly, why didn't you just ask him? Why didn't you just ask God? Because... He doesn't talk to me anymore. It's Gabriel. The vault was mine. I found no human in heaven. But the word. No one hears the word anymore. No one. Without the word. There's only the argument. I'll not step aside. I will not allow any talking monkey to take my place. I'll burn down heaven to stop it. I'm so tired of this war. Reject the lie, Simon. Join us. Help us make it like it was before the monkeys. You remember? We cast out Lucifer's army. You and I, we threw their rebel thrones from the wall. They wanted to be gods. I don't want to be a god, Simon. I just want to make it like it was. Before the lie, we loved us best.
when was it that you lost your grace? I'd like to help you, old friend. But I can't. I'm not sure who's right, who's wrong, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. That's who we are. You know, the great thing about a conversation like this... You never have to have it again. I won't! Damn it, I won't! What is it? What's wrong? He said, I can't go. But I'm needed here. I have an assignment. Well, I won't. You hear me? I won't! No! Stay away from me, Mark. You don't want to be with me anymore. Father, I come for you. Before the end, you will bow down to me! I've had countless names across the eons, but you will know me best as Lucifer. I created all that you've seen here, every beast, every tree. Here, I am the creator. But I want no throne. I do not seek separation. The forsaken here are no different from me, hunted as I am. Unworthy of their lord's love as I am. Forbidden from heaven as I am. Like me, they are here for all eternity at the mere whim of God! Have you all come to me of your own free will? We have. Using the birthright of self-will handed down to you by your true father. By the soul of his children. Vocare pulvere. Star of the morning, sun of dawn, we beseech you and your legion to rise and walk among us. Come. 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 Please come. Come forth, my brothers, my sisters, to Eden again. Our bodies, your bodies. It is my turn. I've waited. Take me. Me. Pick me. Pick me.
Let me give you a little inside information about God. God likes to watch. He's a prankster. Think about it. He gives man instincts. He gives you this extraordinary gift, and then what does he do? I swear, for his own amusement, his own private cosmic gag reel, he sets the rules in opposition. It's the goof of all time. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. <laughs> And while you're jumping from one foot to the next, what is he doing? He's laughing his sick ass off. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist. He's an absentee landlord. Worship that never. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, is that it? Why not? I'm here on the ground with my nose in it since the whole thing began. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. I cared about what he wanted, and I never judged him. Why? Because I never rejected him. In spite of all his imperfections, I'm a fan of man! I'm a humanist. Maybe the last humanist. Who in their right mind, Kevin, could possibly deny the 20th century was entirely mine? All of it, Kevin! All of it. Mine. I'm peeking, Kevin. It's my time. I, Lucifer Morningstar, the devil, have returned to heaven to rule as God Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>